your wood is boring. Let's change that. The other day, I was giving myself a tattoo and thinking about my next woodworking project, when suddenly, I got an idea. What if... Hey! Oh, hey, you got your chocolate and my peanut you got butter! You peanut butter on my chocolate! First, I was gonna need tattoo ink. And then, weaponry. These are my grill blazers, and they're great whenever you just want to put a little stank on something. Let's do this. This is the Restorer. Isn't she sexy? So after an extra fabulous Shishugi Bond session, you might find yourself looking like this. Might I suggest a shower before we continue? That's Sturdy Bird right there. Sturdy Bird. Whew. Much better. All right, so I just picked up some cheap tattoo ink off of Amazon. I, I, I'll link it down below, but like I said, it was not very expensive. And here's why I'm warning you about this particular ink is uh, because this color right here says that it's mint green. I'm gonna experiment with red because red usually gives you a pretty good final result. And we are just going to mix something up and see what we get. Hold on, let me shake this up real quick. All right, I think it's good. Maybe, is there a seal in here or something? I think no ink coming out, which is a sign to remind me to glove up, baby. Glove up, no glove, no love. Tattoo ink knows that. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. We're gonna mix that with about a quarter cup of water. I'll tell you right now, we're gonna need more, more ink. All right. So it's about 40 drops. As far as application goes, I just buy these melamine sponges and cut them up into pieces. They're super cheap. They absorb a lot of product, a lot of dye. Don't get the Mr. Clean ones. Those are expensive. Get the, uh, like, see I buy them in bulk like this and I buy them on Amazon. They're like 18 bucks for, what is this, 50? I just do little cubes. If I'm doing, if I was doing a bigger piece, I might keep it a little bigger, but cubes are fine for this. Moment of truth. This is definitely looking orange to me, but um, it looks like a good color. Like saturation wise, I'm happy with the, the result. And we're gonna give that about 30 minutes because that's gonna tell us if it's really gonna lighten up or not. Once we determine if we need multiple coats, then we can just go ahead and go on down the line and do the rest of the colors. But man, that's looking pretty good already. I ain't gonna lie. You ain't got to lie, Craig. So I did come back 30 minutes later and I went ahead and put another coat on this. It was getting a little transparent. This will also darken up when we put top coat on it. All right, that finishes in about a day to dry. Now let's take a look at those results. Now let's take a look at those results. Start out with the ones that I don't think turned out very well. This is lemon yellow and this is golden yellow. And this is the famous mint green right here, which is blue, like 100% blue. And this one is light purple. I still haven't really gotten a great purple result with any kind of dye. Uh, this seems like the pigment was a little oversaturated, too much pigment in there and it just kind of colored in the darks too much. And yellows are really hit or miss with dyes. Now this blue, which was actually co-labeled light blue, turned out okay. It's, it could be better. Might've gotten a little bit better result if I wasn't such a rookie and uh, I'd used a little bit more water uh, with this. But still, looks pretty good. Next we have just the blue color. I have the lighter blue here so you can kind of see the contrast. This looks a lot better in person than it shows up on camera. It's just really dark. Actually the light right there makes it look pretty good. 
Next we have green. The tattoo color is called light green, but to me that's pretty just kind of middle of the road green. And now we have what we've started with. This is that red that to me looks more orangey than anything else. A pretty decent result. And honestly, after I did that with a quarter cup of water, these are more like an eighth of a cup because it was too much dye. So these colors may be a little bit richer than that first one was. I always love to see me a good white result. People are always looking for this kind of result. That looks really good. Full disclosure, I did use the straight white right out of here for the most part. Watered down, it hardly even dyed the wood at all. So this is almost completely straight. There might've been a little bit of water still in the sponge. Then we have a really solid orange result. Tony the Tiger said, what? Very, very slick. And then my personal favorite is the pink. A reason being is I have never really gotten a good pink result. Like there's not enough pigment in there and it comes out like this really washed out look. And I think this looks just fantastic. You'll notice some areas right here where it just didn't take any stain, which I kind of like that effect, but that comes from over burnishing with the restore, with the, with the brush tool I was using. All right guys, well those are a couple of my favorites, but let me know your favorite in the comments down below. And if you want to see me do more of this wood treatment, check out this video right here.